tell us in the comments. Don't forget to hit the like button and share this video with everyone you know. I've seen people who haven't you haven't really seen dancing before. Bigyan na lang pa di ba? This whole quarantine, pag makait mga konting pa, I'm a savage. Mga ganyan, di ba? Ang cute. Like, yung mga, like, they're, they're, wait, can I have a sample? <laughs> Even if you're not a professional, you just do it kasi masaya siya. The thing about dancing is everyone can do it. Yun yun eh. Anyone is welcome to dance. As a performer, how do you cope with moments of self-doubt and negative thoughts? We've seen, we've seen movies like Step Up, mga Bring It On, di ba? Di ba? Kaya ko with self doubts May mga like umiiyak sa mga dancing movies, and I'm sure this really happens sa inyong dalawa. Yeah. This already happened. So mga self doubt, mga like when you feel down. So let's talk about that. How do you cope with it? I just wanna come like start off by saying that self doubt is so real. It's so real. Not just in dance, but I feel everyone can relate it. As in anyone talaga. Everyone in any profession or in any walk of life can relate to self doubt. And in dance, it is so present. Like Jana knows this. I talk to her about this all the time. It's so present. Like even in this pandemic, like feeling mo na parang um, we're all dancing, we're all posting, ganyan, ganyan. But then, oh my goodness, like, it, personally, it has never been more, like, stressful. Because I feel everyone is dancing. Like, you, you gotta post, you gotta, okay, what's happening, what's happening? Like, um, are people liking what I'm doing? Are people liking what I'm making? Are people doing this? Am I good enough to do that? Am I good enough to do this? Like, there's an insane amount of it. Like, I, I can go on forever that I'm telling everyone here, if you feel any glimpse or trickle or even a whole rice bag of doubt, I relate so hard. Like, I relate so hard. The only way to go through it is to know that it's always gonna be there. There's always gonna be a little voice in your head. It's never gonna go away. It's always gonna be like, oh, you can't do that. Oh, you're not good enough. Oh, you wasted like so much time. Oh, parang you're not training enough. You're not working hard enough. She's better than you. He's better than you. That little voice will always be there. Once you start accepting that, you can start defeating it. You can start lowering that voice down. Once that, like, it always happens. I'm about to post something, like, let's say, three minutes later, wala pang nagla-like. Or like, one minute, tapos dalawa lang. Should I delete it? What happened? Yeah, like, it sounds so petty, right? It sounds so petty, and I laugh at myself when I say it. But it's, it's a reality it from happens. everyone. happens, yes, yes. Yeah, and it's, it's just practicing to lower that, that little voice. Lowering it and turning up the voice of yourself. Turning up knowing that you are good enough. The right people will appreciate you. The people that are meant to see it will see it. The people who will appreciate you, be thankful. Those who don't, so what? You are yes. here to be uniquely yourself. You are here to be you're here to be yourself. And if people don't appreciate that, know that you appreciate yourself. And that will always be good enough. Nothing will beat that. So that's always just what I go back to when, mm. and it happens a lot. Whenever that yeah. happens, it's just toning it down. I just say that you have to accept it, acknowledge it, and just uh, lower down that volume, the, the little voice inside you. Can you give also to dancers who want to improve in the craft or are shy to improve them, uh, to put themselves out there in dancing? No, like what can you advise to those dancers? I'm sure because there are many dancers, aspiring ones, who just are shy to show it to the world. And they're so talented. I think maybe one thing that I could say is what's holding you back? Like, because I can't, like, that's the only general question that I feel could relate to everyone. Like, if you feel, just, just like one step, feel, not even think, you feel. A little 5% if you feel like you're talented. A little 5% if you feel like you can do it. What's the 95? And once you, once you find out what the 95 is, or whatever percent that is, figure out why. If it's yourself, which often it is. Often you have your whole family, all your friends behind you. Go, do it, like you got this. But you're like, no, I can't, I can't. <laughs> That's what's stopping you, ikaw lang, diba? Usually, sometimes there are other aspects and then you'll have to tackle that. But once you break it down and once you find out what's stopping you, what's stopping you from taking class, what's stopping you from dancing in your room by yourself, What's stopping you from turning on that music? What's stopping you from making choreography? What's stopping you from posting? What's, what, what's stopping you? If it's something as simple as yourself, 
then you already know what to do. You just gotta do it. That's pretty much it. Like you just gotta know like what what's hindering you and then you can tackle it. Because if you're just thinking I can't and that's as far as you've gone, what's after that? What's after How yeah. do you take that away? Yeah. Yes, to our viewers no, who are aspiring dancers there or performers in general, just let yourself out there because it's only yourself stopping you. I like what Coach Sammy said here, Nana. Very inspiring advice. Yeah, just take a leap of faith. Jump over the, you know, the, whatever's uh, stopping you from doing what you want. So how about you, Jana? We have we have supporters tanga dito mga ate Jana daw oh. We have Pink Aga saying hi uh rock go on go on uh, rock on go coach Sam go ate Jana and we also have <laughs> Adiba yung mga ating mga viewers. Oh toto sabi nga ni dito oh. Sabi dash ni Dia four seven times stand up oh. Toto oh. Yes. Oo. Sana just go girl, parang siyang go girl lang. So how about you, Ate Jana, makikiate na rin. <laughs> uh, what advice can you give? So for me naman, I think my advice is really simple. So I think it's really sad also. So all the time, I think it's really simple. So I think it's really nice. So like, just do it. Like, yeah. Really, like, there are just some things that you have to do. Yes. Well, how do you guys? I mean, have personal self care routine, Doc? I, right? I super cannot stick to that. But like, what's important for me is I drink a lot of water. Like, I think water. I drink about like three to four liters a day, and that really makes my skin look nice. I think it makes it look healthy, and I, I make sure I work out every single day. Like, I have walking, walking, like that. I just make sure I'm working out every day. I drink so much water and I love using marula oil. Have you guys heard of that? I love using oh my marula yes. oil on my face, my oh. hair, like everywhere. I'm not going to wear my hair. <laughs> Yeah, why not? Oh, I tip yan to your viewers. Yan po ang go-to beauty product ni Jana Makusay. Paano po siya maging fresh? How about you, Sammy? Oh, what are your go-to beauty products? And what's your personal security? I'm super laughing because, like, you know how I have a lot of friends and that they they really go and I tried before but like Jana, I cannot stick. I cannot <laughs> commit. It's like, like, parang, I don't know. I just can't. Like, honestly, I told my, my cousins was also like, um, before I would just I put facial wash lang facial wash on my face before I sleep and then I go to sleep. But then I started getting stuff on my face. I literally just wash my face with water. That's just it. I just make sure I wash my face with water after I train, after I slept. Water, wipe face with towel. I don't put anything Same. on my face at all. Just cause like the chemicals, I I I'm just scared to try things. Cause sometimes. I break, like, I, I'll get a pimple if it's new, so I just stick to water. I wash my face with water and that's it. Not even, like, just, like, really scrub my face with water. I don't know how else to explain it. But I think one thing, like, it might sound super cliche and cheesy, but I always make sure that before I sleep, I'm happy. <laughs> Yo! Oh, 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 nice advice! So, oh, But for you, like, if you have, I've had experience that that I'm cranky and the next day I have like a little white head and I'm like damn it. Like I just make sure like before I go to bed, um like sometimes I wake up and I'm like this or I'm like oh this is not gonna be a good day. But I make sure that before I go to bed, like when I pray or like um when I'm just lying down, I make sure that I kind of like if it's a bad day I think of all the like maybe five good things that happened and then I sleep. Just to make sure that like, I, I really believe in the whole cleansing through your mind. Like cleansing through like what you think and like what you get the energy energy that I super believe in that so like the energy that you feel in yourself will exude in your skin and your pores and everything so the perfect self care for me is just to make sure that when you go home before you sleep you don't have to be happy like 
Yeah, but you're just like at peace and content with your yeah. day. And I feel like that's the best way for self-care. I like that advice, mo. No? I like that. Parang when you just go to sleep, it's true. When you wake up the next day, parang feel mo parin siya. Ang bigat parin sa feeling. Eh. No matter what you skin. Oh my gosh, kita. You can see Jana and Sammy's skin, no? Very fresh. Because I'm sure when you're dancing, ang hirap kaya to wear a lot of makeup. Because you're so sweaty, so you can't. You have to wear very minimal lang. Yung parang no makeup, yeah. makeup lang when you dance. Yeah. Sande ba? Cha. Yeah. You have to look fresh, no? Because sweaty yung mga ano nga eh when you're performing. We have sabi yeah. na niya tao. Oh, so dapat na kasmile ako habang natutulog lang. <laughs> 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 Final words and tips from for our viewers to the dance or just want to like you know do anything in particular you know you just gotta do it. There's no other time like today. There's no other time like now. So if you wait until tomorrow, that's gonna be until tomorrow, tomorrow, and the next week, and the next month, next year. So when you think of something, the energy that you have put it into something at that moment because that energy that you have in that moment will change. So if you feel something good within you, if you feel Um, some light that you want to share into the world in that moment. Don't be afraid. Don't be afraid and just do it. Thank you for that, Sam. You know, thank you for that. Okay, how about you, Jana? Um, give us like, your final words for our viewers. Now, go. Okay, so my final words. Aside from thanking everybody for watching, me and Sam and Aliyah, please do check out. Be crazy. Um, <laughs> I just like to say that whatever that it is that you want to do, and whatever it is that is making you happy right now, I think that you should just go ahead and do it. Um, don't let fear stop you. There, there are so many things right now that wants us to stop. Um, whatever yeah. that we're doing, but I think that you should just listen to your soul. You should listen to your body. You should spend time with your family. Yourself and do whatever makes you feel connected to the universe, connected to yourself, connected to your loved ones. Just do whatever it takes to keep your mental health um, in a good place as well. Um, don't be afraid to try new things. And again, make sure that you appreciate and have that solid support system all the all the time. And make sure that you remember that you have you no matter what. Yes. Thank you again so much for watching. Yeah. Hindi na po sa dancers, pero singers din po sila. <laughs> so ayan, thank you. Thank you so much to Jana and to Saham for joining me in this Girl Boss to Move episode. I hope you all enjoyed your time here on V81 Radio and I hope our viewers did too. Stay tuned for the next episode. Only here on V81 Radio, Manila.